guys so today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top four favorite foundations they all just happen to be um, from the drugstore which is bonus so get excited about that but I have tried these products some of them for a year or I was gonna say years but for a year and some for a few months all these have stood the test of time all the way through summer and brought me all the way to fall so yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off from light coverage to full coverage. So the very first one I'm gonna talk to y'all about is the Maybelline New York um, Dream Pure BB. It's the 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfecting Perfector. Now this is a really good BB cream for those of you out there who are struggling with acne, with scarring, with anything like that. It's not gonna give full coverage or medium coverage or light coverage, it's very sheer, but it is really great to semi even out your skin toll skin tone skin tone and it also has 2% salicylic acid so it is a treatment which I really love you can wear this under your foundation if you want to I've done that before uh, for example yesterday I put this on after I did my skincare I don't use this as my lotion which you can but I don't and then I went to the coffee shop stayed there till after lunch then I came right home and ate lunch whatever what just threw water on my face, patted it dry, and then applied my makeup like I normally do, primer and all that stuff. So this is a really good product. I didn't have to take it off. It pretty much wore off by itself anyway. And I highly recommend this for those of you out there who are struggling with acne and your skin does really well with salicylic acid. This is going to be a great product for you. And yeah, I like it. Um, I mean, it doesn't really cover much, but it definitely, every time I go to wash my face at the end of the night, my skin is drastically improved in how it feels, the way it looks, and yeah, so my pimples are like really reduced. Not saying that this is the end-all be-all product for acne, but it is a really good BB cream for that reason. And also, ooh, and can we also take a second and look at the packaging, how cute it is and how thoughtful it is? First of all, it has like my favorite color down here, but it's also a squeeze tube, so that's very convenient. It's very slender, so it's so good for traveling, and it's very sanitary, so love that. So the next product also ha is perfect packaging. It's a squeeze tube as well. Very slender, same type idea, but this is going to be light coverage foundation. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion. Um, this one I got in the shade light to medium, and this one I got in the shade 115. Now, I love this product because I can apply it with my fingers. Um, However, it does oxidize throughout the day. This is something that I'll throw on my face when I want to go to the grocery store, um, and that's it. I don't use this if I am having date night or if I'm running a day full of errands because at the end of the day, just, I mean, for like two or three hours it's fine, but after it hits that fourth hour mark, it has like a line, and your face has got an orange hue to it. So it does oxidize. However, it is a really good product. My skin does really well with this. Um, it is oil-free foundation, so that's really great for oily combo skin people out there. Um, so I'm sorry to all you people out there that have dry skin. I have oily combo skin, very sensitive skin, and these are the products that work for me. And also acne prone. So this is a good product. Um, mostly I like to mix this with other things. I'll mix this with the next uh, foundation I'm going to show you. But So, you know, I like it. It's not my favorite out of the group. But I do like it out of a lot of the other foundations that I have at the drugstore. So I would try it out. I'm not saying not try it out because it, it does oxidize at the end of the day. That's my only downside. So it looks amazing before then, but yeah. So the next one, this is like my product that I mix with everything and I love it. It is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Serum Absolute Pro Retinol A and Vitamin C Foundation. This stuff has changed my life. It makes my skin look so healthy. The feel, I guess it's the retinol in there, but it just makes my skin feel super soft and beautiful. It never breaks me out. None of these products have ever broken me out, and they're just really great. I can't even express how much I love this one. I mean, just look at it. I've destroyed it. So, uh, let's talk about the packaging. I love that there is a pump up here that is, like, literally the best thing you can do. It is a little bulky, but... That's okay, there's a pump. There's a pump, guys, there's a pump, that's awesome. But I will say, I don't know if it's just this one, but um, when it got to like a little lower than halfway through, it wouldn't pump anymore, so I had to take it off and like scoop it out. But after I scoop it out once or twice, I can use the pump again. I just have to go back and forth with it. Which, not a big issue since it is such a great foundation. 
this is really good for oily dry combo every kind of skin because it is a little bit moisturizing a little bit luminizing but not to the point where you look like a shiny disco ball I'm wearing it today I love it um, most days when I do my makeup I'll just do concealer under my eyes and down the center of my face and then I'll use this and just like my cheeks and like the perimeter of my face where I don't get oily at all and it just makes me look so natural and it stays all day it's just beautiful now if I want to use it all over my face then I'll mix it with this second foundation which is the Revlon color stay combo to oily skin when they have a version for the dry skin I just the formulas are completely different I don't notice that one is better for like it's more geared towards dry skin one more geared to oily skin I just like the formula of this one better I don't know why I just do so let's finish talking about this one this one's so 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 good it is the best foundation I found it's medium coverage though so yes and I am in the color nude beige oh I just noticed a little sticker on here it says five anti-aging benefits so for the more mature skin out there really good product so the last foundation this is the one I've had the longest I've had for over a year and this is what got me through my cystic acne days if you've been with me for a while you know I used to suffer like 56 50 cystic acnes all big old hard thick deep rooted pimples all over my face and this you can still tell like there's a shadow that casts whenever you do have acne but there was no redness this completely canceled it out it is so amazing guys you need to try this if you have oily combo skin sensitive skin and you have a lot of acne try this out it's very long wearing it is amazing I tell you it is amazing so yeah this one is mattifying it's not like super mattifying but I don't need to, a setting powder with this so I do need to set a power with this though however so go try this guys this is really my holy grail perfect product and what I did the first couple of times I used this I got the lightest shade and I just put in a little bit of a darker like a really dark shade and just like customize it to myself but now sand beige is my perfect shade and it fits me perfectly so today I have these two on and it just looks very natural and beautiful and my skin looks super healthy and I love that combo that's been the combo I've been rocking all month long so yeah really good stuff and the last thing I want to throw in is how I like to apply my foundations and it has been with the Real Techniques stippling brush love this thing guys I got mine at Rite Aid which is crazy that they're selling them there so you need to go check this out I've used quite a bit stippling brushes in the past couple of years since I've been into doing foundation like liquid foundations and this one is perfect it is perfect for blending concealer under your eyes blending concealer on a blemish uh, just to like feather it out so it's not like a harsh on your face it's amazing at blending out bronzer that's what I did today or like my contour crayon and it's amazing for foundation it is just an awesome product for creamy consistency type things so I apply my BB cream with that, the light coverage, the medium coverage, and full coverage foundations with this product. Can you hear the dogs barking in the background? Anyways, so the only thing I wouldn't apply this with um, is like a really liquid con concealer. A really liquidy foundation, which the liquid to powder one by L'Oreal, Maybelline has one, the Dream Wonder, whatever don't use that with this it's not gonna do well but I love this brush it is amazing it's the perfect denseness it's packed perfectly there's just the right amount of white and I know it's disgusting I just used it a little bit ago to put on my makeup but it is an amazing 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 brush and even better it's at the drugstore so guys Thank you all so much for watching and thank you guys for requesting it. I had a few of you actually request this video which is really cool and I hope this was helpful to you guys. So that is the end of the video for the foundations. I do want to talk about now a few updates. I am changing my video schedule to every single Monday and Friday on this channel and then I'm going to be uploading my weekly vlogs on Wednesdays on my vlog channel Christine GS Life. So if you want to check those out definitely go do that. Um, I know a lot of you followed me whenever I was doing daily vlogs but it got to be too much 
and I'm slowly trying to creep back and get into a schedule. So that's what's going on right now. Um, spoiler alert. But I'm going to be doing Vlogmas over there too. But until then, I'll be uploading just once a week on Wednesdays. So go check those out. I already have a few up. And yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful... Ooh, hope you're having a wonderful Friday. And I love you all very much. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye. On my lips. And then I'm going to take the... I think it's Spice It Up. And just do like a little thin layer on the bottom. Blend it to the top. And it's my perfect shade. I wish I could make these two blend together and have a baby and it would be my perfect shade so yeah that's the final makeup and hair look so let's get on to the outfit guys you ready